Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will explore context in Google dialog flow. How you can use context, how you can set input and output context, and how you can govern the conversation from one intent to another intent. So let's get started. If you go to Google and search context in dialog flow, you can land on this website. This explains about what is context and how you can use it. If we go to input and output context, we can see that there are two kinds of context, output context and input context. Output context set the flow for next conversation while input context used to match intents. So let's see a flow I have created to demo context. By the way, I use this app called draw.io. It is available for desktop and on website as well. It is free and very useful in order to build conversation flow. I use this app for all my clients work. So here you can see I have three intents, default welcome intent, user provide name intent and user provide email intent. The response of the first intent is what is your name and it will set a output context await username. Now the next intent which will be triggered by user's query must have input context same as the previous conversation's output context. So the output context of previous conversation must equal to the input context of next conversation. If this condition satisfies, then this intent will triggered. So in the first intent, we will ask the name of the user. User will provide name we will ask email address. We will ask email address and also set await user email as output context. It will finally trigger the next intent user provides email and that intent has input context same as previous intents output context. So let's build this and I will set await user name. The number 5 denotes life span count. That means this context will be live for 5 conversation. Carefully choose the life span count for a context cause many times it will trigger false intent. So I will set this as 1 and I will also change the responses. Let's see what is your name. Now I will create another intent and if you want to see which intent to create one by one from this flow, it will be easy to set input and output context and uh, intent name as well. So it is advisable to you know create a flow first and then copy paste the things in dialog flow. Here under context section we will add context and the input context will be await name. If we see here input context is await username and output context is await user email. Again, I will change the lifespan count to 1. Let's say some phrases like I am Raj, Raj, okay, uh, it has marked the name as system person and we 
will take that let's say what is your email user provides email let's set the context so the input context will be await user email I will remove that from the output context I don't want it let's say my email is raj at gmail.com that is raj at gmail.com okay it is raj at gmail.com okay let me mark this as email I want to show you one more thing with that okay uh, let me set a response thank you okay for demonstration purpose let me create one more intent user provides email without context okay I'll not set context for this and let's say raj at gmail.com it is raj at gmail.com my email is raj at gmail.com so you can see it has almost the similar training phrases as the previous intent we created user provides email but let's see what happens so I'll set a response in this intent like this is from without context intent now the training of the agent is completed let me check with this phrase first if I run the query you can see the intent triggered is user provides email now I will start the conversation as we have created from this flow so let's say hello now it is asking what is your name and you can set the output context is set as wait await user name let's say my name is Raj so it will ask what is your email now the context set as await user email if I say now Raj at gmail.com you will see that a context was set as await user email that's why this intent is triggered and not the one without context still let me show you one more time if I pass this phrase you can see user provides email without context intent is triggered not the one with context I also want to show you one more thing is that here we can create output context name as session var anything you can name it but I used to call it session wars and provide a longer lifespan count let's say 50 let me save this let me run the flow again let's say hi it will ask name let's say my name is Raj and the email now you can see if we go to diagnostic info you can see there is a session var output context is still there and it has all the values of the parameter we gathered so you know when you work with backend you don't have to call API every time and update the names or all the parameters that you want to gather what you can do is that in the last intent when you gathered all the information of the user you can call API and insert the parameters in your database 
I hope this video has given you some information. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section of this video. If you like my work, please like, share and subscribe this video. It helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.